Hello and welcome back to Rags to Riches. I am Easy 8 oze and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Speaking of fantastic days, um, not so great here. It is raining. So that does put a wee bit of a damper on things. Although, looking at the forecast, we can expect that to stop and for us to get some sun later on in the day, which is always good. Now, the rain doesn't really affect the plans that I have for today. Uh, I would like to get our first field at least ploughed and set up. Close that door, make sure the inside of the shed doesn't get too wet. I mean, it's fairly rickety and busted up looking anyway, so we'll just try to keep it as nice as we can. Um, now, you may have noticed that we do have a bit more money than last time you saw us. So I spent the rest of the day yesterday just chopping down some more trees, loading it up in our trusty trailer and taking those off to wood chips, which the the manager was very, very glad of. There's obviously not too many people around here at the moment, so they're more or less taking what they can get. We do have a few more trees felled and chopped up, ready for, uh, ready for later. So we might actually scoot over to the sawmill and drop some of those off once we've got this field all sorted out. So, without further ado, let's get underway. Now, I'm thinking those bushes just behind us that you can see off to our left, um, those are more or less the boundary of our property. So, I was thinking that we can basically take this plough and set our field up from just the side of the vehicle shelter uh, to just the other side of the vehicle shelter. We'll, we'll still leave a little bit of a lane um, between the field and the shelter just for, uh, for a bit of future proofing in case we need that space and if we want to we can also expand it further or in saying that just create another field now that's the best thing about having a plow you can essentially create a field wherever you like um, there's no restrictions on it like you get with a subsoiler, which is um, for those of you who aren't too familiar with Farming Simulator at all, which in the game does a similar job to a plow. Um, it just doesn't have the ability to create new fields like this does, so this, this piece of machinery and tool are just the perfect combo for us at the moment starting out. So what I'm doing at the moment, we'll just set up a little bit of a boundary for our field. Uh, not too big, just we are a bit limited in the size of um, of the implements that we do have access to. So I'm thinking maybe a nice square shape. Uh, hopefully I've not put us put us wrong with that uh, with that tree just in front of us. Hopefully that's not going to interfere with um, us setting up this field. All right, now where did I start? Yeah, you can sort of see it. I have a feeling this tree might just be in the way. So yeah, it is going to be in the way. So what I might do is just make a wee bit of a diagonal cut rather. You know, be different. Boring old square fields and rectangle fields, right? Well, we'll be trying to be a bit different around here. Down she goes, and this might might just come a little bit further than what we originally planned for this side. Hey, more field, more crops, right? Okay, now here's the here's the hard part, getting this lined up whilst also keeping it looking nice. Because I've uh, I'm not I'll be the first to admit I'm not the handiest person with a plow. My fields that I plow up myself more often than not look come out looking quite ugly. But hey, a field's a field, right? Oh, actually, that... Oh, I will admit that's a... <laughs> that's a bit nicer than what I'm used to. So, you know, we'll just... Pop this down here, try and tie that into the corner. Okay, so... That's the easy part done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, uh, yeah. Now we have to plow out the inside, so that's... That's going to take a while. Um, so I might take the time just to elaborate on a few more of the plans that I have. 
Now, the money situation, we can't really pull in huge amounts of money just selling wood chips. So, we might have to rent a little bit of the gear that we're going to need to start with. Uh, the next step on this field, which I'm hoping we can get done today, is to spread some lime around. Uh, ideally, we'd like to do that once it stops raining, if indeed it does stop raining in time for us to get into it. Um, so we'll see. Hmm. We will just check out the price of the lime spreaders though, because yeah, we don't know if there's going to be anything within our price range. We do, we would like to buy it because um, the lime spreader can also double as a fertilizer spreader for us, which is going to really increase the yield of those first few prop crops. Um, but you know, if we if we have to uh, rent it, then we will. So I will quickly get this plowing done. Um, I'll drop in if we have any news, i.e. Uh, the weather and what we're going to be able to continue to do. Um, otherwise, enjoy. Okay, so we have been making some headway with, uh, with the field. Unfortunately, the rain doesn't look like it's going to be letting up anytime soon. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we really are getting a taste of the, um, the farmer's life here, being up in the all weather, doing whatever jobs we possibly can, because you know, whoever let a little bit of rain stop them, um, stop them getting their fields sorted. Uh, it's got to it's gotta be done. If we don't do anything, we will eventually run out of money. We will eventually also run out of trees to cut down, which, yeah, without any fields and crops, we would likely be sunk at that point. Yeah. I'm sure that's not going to happen to us. So we'll, uh, we'll carry on with this plowing, and hopefully we'll be done soon. I'd say we're about halfway, so yeah, not Okay, so we're almost done. We've got a couple more passes to do at uh, at this section, and we'll be almost done. Now, looking at the sky, I'd say the rain is just about to stop, so that that bows really well. It's going to be a bit damp, but um, I think we'll still be able to put some lime on that field, and it is actually looking like it's going to be a really nice decent sized field for us to uh, pull our first crop from. We're just very very lucky to have all of this uh, all of this wonderful land at our disposal really. And I guess the other thing it uh, depends on is whether or not the dealership has anything uh, A in stock and B that we can actually afford. So that yeah, that we'll have to see. Ok, 
And there we go, all done. We have one nicely ploughed field. Let's just have a look. I don't know about you, but uh, that, that feels good to have that done. I think we've done a pretty good job there. Okay, so we're going to uh, drop this plough off and mosey on over to the shop. Oh, there we go. The rain stopped just in time. Okay. It's only taken us half the day, which I'm um, really quite happy about. Don't need that light anymore. Um, yeah, it's only a light, but you know, we'll try and make uh, <laughs> try and make our light bulbs go as far as we possibly can. Let's uh, set that back to limit to field, because we don't really want to uh, lower the plow and put it straight through the ground and start um, start plowing out our shit. Not great. Okay, so let's make a quick trip over to the shop and see what they have for us. So as you know, I'm a uh, I'm easy at OCE, and in the in the real world, when I'm not uh, not farming, well, I'm not a real farmer, to be honest with you. I am a truck or a or a lorry driver, I guess, if you're in the UK. Um, that's uh, and in my spare time, I am a sim gamer, so I play. Oddly enough, I play Euro Truck Sim and American Truck Sim, just for a laugh. I mean. I don't normally get to drive with trailers in my day-to-day -day work, so having a go on the big trucks is a, is a bit of fun for me. When I'm not doing that, I'm like playing either farm sim or building and painting models, which is sort of my my hobby. So yeah, just a, a little bit about me, just so you can get to know me a bit better. But no, I do, I do really enjoy getting out there and doing a, doing a little bit of farming in the, in the virtual world. I think it's going to be, come out really well for us. And, yeah. I'm not really too, too sure what we're going to grow. If you've got any thoughts on what we should grow, put a comment down at the bottom. And, yeah, if there's a, if there's a resounding vote in, in one way, I mean... Ideally, I want to do something that doesn't require, probably not sugar beets or potatoes, because those require some pretty, pretty specialised equipment, and I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. But maybe, maybe something like, I don't know, canola or uh, maybe oats or wheat. We could um, actually, if we do, yeah, if we do get oats and wheat, we could also get the straw and sell it. I mean, I don't know if we can really afford a baler or anything to, um, to pick the straw up with, so, you know, maybe canola would be a good way to go. But yeah, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide, and I will, yeah, I'll basically go with whatever you guys think. Alright, here we are at the shop. Just turn off the tractor, no point wasting diesel. We will pop into the lads and see what they've got for us. Okay, so here is the fertilizer spreader. Um, this is the only one that was actually in our price range that could also spread lime. So it's it's looking like this is the one that it's going to have to be. Um, yeah, it's definitely not going to fit a whole bag of lime in there, uh, which we will also have to buy. So We'll just go ahead and grab this and fill her up with what we can and we will be on our way. There she is. Um, not the biggest unit ever, but yeah, it's really, really all we can get at the moment. So we're, yeah, we're sort of stuck with it. Oh well, no matter. Um, let's all hooked up and get underway. Now we will have to devise a way to get that arm. Um, get that bag of lime back as well. Now we might be able to get it on the um, on our wee trailer. So we'll uh, yeah we'll quickly run this back to the shop back to the farm and I'll see if one of the lads in the shop can help me put that big bag 
uh, on our trailer. Okay, here we are back at the farm to drop off our fertilizer spreader. So we might just uh, leave that at the entrance to the shelter. It's looking like it's probably going to be okay. It's not going to not going to rain again on us anytime soon, so it should be just fine here. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Now, another good thing that's happened uh, yesterday. So yesterday evening, after we finished with the with the wood chipping, we actually took that trailer around to the um, around the back to the workshop because we. We noticed around that gating at the back of the trailer, there was a lot of rust and it looked like it had just corroded itself shut. So we took that down, put some CRC on it overnight, or WD-40 depending on where you are, and yeah, we can actually get that open now, which is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, have a look at that. So that's going to make it a lot easier for us to get that bag of uh, bag of lime in the back of the trailer, and then back to the farm. Now we will have to probably try and drag it out by hand um, <laughs> once we get back, which isn't going to be the easiest thing to do, but yeah, we'll make it work. Okay, off to the shop we go. Okay, there we are. We have just managed to get it in there. It was a bit of a bit of a task, but one of the young lads inside kindly volunteered to uh, to help us out because we just yeah we couldn't manage that just quite on our own. So we'll get those doors closed off, and we will get ourselves back to the back to the farm and hopefully get the spreading done before the end of the day. Now I'm thinking we might try and get this into the uh, into the main shed because. Yeah, ideally you don't really want this stuff getting wet, it'll just clump up and it'll be horrible and nasty and we just won't be able to use it. And uh, that would just be a bit of a waste, so... Although the big, the big shit, the big, uh... Old shit's not the most watertight of buildings, it's definitely better than the, um, the open-sided shelter that we've cut. Alright, so, we'll just quickly head back to the farm and I'll see you there. Okay, there we go. So, with a lot of effort and a bit of rope, we have managed to drag that uh, drag that line bag out and off to the side of the shed so it's not going to get in the way of anything coming in and out. Um, as far as the shed goes, it looks like that's probably one of the more watertight areas, so yeah, that'll, that'll just have to do for now. So we'll go get this trailer put away, grab the fertilizer spreader, and we will get that filled up with lime. Then, it's on to the fun part of uh, really liming up that field, getting it nice and nice and ready for our first planting. I would, before we plant, like to just get a little bit of a little bit of fertilizer down on the um, down on the field, just to really beef that soil up. Sure our first crop is as profitable as it can possibly possibly be. Okay, let's get this spread around to the line and we'll get that filled up now too. It is going to be, you know, a little bit of a hassle taking this back to the um back around to the shed to the line bag every oh, I've mucked that up a bit, and there we are, easy fix. Yeah, as I was saying, it is going to be a little bit of a pain bringing this back to the shed every time we need to fill it up. But, um, yeah. We just don't don't really have the means to be dragging this lime spreader around the, um, sorry, this lime bag around the farm all by ourselves. So, just have to, have to do what we can. Okay, so, now for the fun part. Actually spreading this stuff around. Can't wait. Oh, gosh. I do need to get... I don't know, a shovel and the chainsaw or something to get rid of those stumps because really that is not in a not in an ideal place for us, but anyway. Let's get into it. Huh. Actually not a bad working with for such a tiny little 
tiny little spreader, so this hopefully yeah, won't take actually too long at all. Oh, it really is chewing through the lime though. Hopefully we've got enough for the whole field. Really hate to have to take the trailer back and get another bag. That would just, you know, wouldn't be super happy about it. So, oh, well, let's get this over with and I will see you on the other side. Enjoy. go so hopefully we've got enough just to get to the end of this uh, yep there we go and there are a couple of wee bits that we've missed so we'll just go around and see if we can quickly tidy those up great I'm not too worried about the smaller parts just the yeah I don't think we've quite got enough line but yeah there we go Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a little bit left in the spreader. I really don't want to go and have to fill it um, fill it up again. Uh, you've already seen my attempts at reversing the, um, the spreader in. Don't really want to have to do that again. Embarrass myself and subject you to that. Ooh. White wheel stay, is it? But yeah, I must say though, liming fields is one of my favourite things to do just because it looks, it looks like we've just had a snowy Christmas, doesn't it? I mean, being New Zealand, we don't, yeah, we don't get those full stop. I wouldn't say don't really, because, yeah, we just, we just don't. Alright, so, it's, uh, well, it's just about six o'clock in the evening, so it's been a, yeah, pretty big day for us. But we have achieved something. We now have a field, it's covered in lime, and next time I think we might look to try and um, maybe even fertilize it. I think solid fertilizer so we can just reuse the same fertilizer machine. And yeah, but all in all a very, very good day. So I'll just put this tractor away and thank you so, so, so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Hit the bell if you want to see the notification for when I post up episode 3. And if you haven't seen episode 1, please do hop over onto my channel and have a look. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you've enjoyed what you've seen here. So yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you to the modders and to the map makers who make this sort of thing possible. And we'll see you all again soon. See you later.